hello guys and welcome back to my channel today's video is the video i've been waiting for all year it's the decorate my tree video i did this last year but i wasn't happy with my tree i don't know what it was it just didn't feel that glam but this year i've gone all out so i have already decorated my tree as you can see it's now been up for a day so i'm just doing this little introduction i'm going to talk you through my tree do my tree reveal and yeah so i have popped in a little few clips of me decorating the tree but this year's christmas tree video i didn't want to just show me decorating the tree and like talking you through it i wanted to reveal it and talk you through on how i did it and also where things are from okay so first of all i'm going to mention where my tree is actually from i've actually got a new tree this year my tree is actually from asda um george online it was 35 pound it's the six foot christmas tree i went for a six foot one because last year's tree we put it up the other day and it was just far too big okay so you've got a bit more of an idea here so you can see now the tiara it's quite large and in charge i do actually want more little branches like this i do want to actually get a few more of those i thought i had enough i mean i do but i don't at the same time so yeah the tree as i said it is pushed back at the moment so i've told you where the tree is from i'm now going to just crouch down here and talk about my basket so my basket here is actually 10 pounds from home bargains i wanted a gray basket this year rather than just like a rug or something like a snow over the bottom i just find it looks more put together i mean if i got a blanket it'd probably like blend in a bit more with the floor and because obviously i've got the feather boas i just wanted something different so Yes, my basket is from Home Bargains. My Santa is from the range. I mentioned that in a video. But yeah, just because I've got the grey decor now, I just think the basket makes the tree look so much more elegant. So I've gone for feather boas this year. I do actually want to pick up maybe another one in here in the middle and here and here. So I'm going to pick up three more and then just like cut them and like slot them in a little bit more and like weave them in and out but yeah that is my tree for this year so i'll give you a little pan so as i said a minute ago i will just repeat that my tree this year is gray white and pink Grey, I mean like silver and obviously the grey Santa and things like that. I wanted grey, white and pink this year for the grey, white and pink decor that I have got in my living room. So I will just tell you what I started off with. First I did the tree, then I put the lights onto the tree. Then I went in with my feather bowers. And then after my feather bowers, with these little branches here, which are just slightly poking out. Um which I have shown you. Then after I've done all my branches on the tree, I then like to go in with like pine cones and just plop them about. And then it's baubles. I start with the bigger baubles on the bottom and then work my way up the tree and then put more dainty bubble baubles like this, just so it kind of balances the tree out. After I've done that, I go in with my flowers. I can't remember what these are called. Um, I kind of do, but I can't pronounce it, so I'm not going to. Um, so I then go in with my flowers. Then after my flowers, I start to go in with my bubbles like this, you know, my little decorations, like my unicorn here, my stags, my little flower, um, my Eiffel Tower, and then my H and my A like my, my my precious barbels um but yeah that is how i've decorated the tree i just thought i'd talk you through it this year rather than just sitting 
down and watching me actually do it i'd rather talk you down so you can see the full effect but yeah today's video i hope you enjoy please stay tuned because there's so much more christmas content coming and i hope you have a lovely sunday